The next episode of uh, Mayans that I'm on is tomorrow night. Oh, oh okay. Nice. Yeah. It's explosive. Is it? Explosive. That's all I will uh, tell you right now. Do you have dialogue? Uh, that's all I'm going to tell you right oh, now. Oh, okay. He can't say otherwise. Got it. Yeah. We wouldn't be surprised by the sex scene. Right. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's yeah, so check out all uh, the nudity. The big gangbang. Mayans there, MC on uh, FX. There is some the like, next day on Hulu preview out there, and they have some still shots of you. It's on our Instagram. Yeah. Oh, really? It, yeah, it's show. a still shot from like the the video preview. They they froze it in a very awkward position. Ooh. But uh, <laughs> I will look at that immediately. <laughs> is is he yeah. flexing? What's going on here? Well, no, because in the in the scene, like um, you know uh. I'm with a bunch of the other guys. We're kicking the door in. Yeah, bro. And like, oh, then, you are looking bad ass. And I had just finished coming around a corner. <laughs> and so it's like, <laughs> it's not a posed shot by any means. <laughs> See what I'm saying? <laughs> looks like, looks like, right? a, like a little kid who's... <laughs> yeah. Had to like put a, j- a suit jacket oh. on for the first time. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be like, here. <laughs> yeah. So it was, it was a weird spot to, uh, to, you know, take the screenshot. Right. But, uh, yeah, see? <laughs> <laughs> they kick in a door. You're just kind of standing there shrugging your shoulders. Like, ooh. Well, no, because, like, I, again, like, it came around the corner. Like, the door and you're like, busts Hi. open. And, yeah. <laughs> and I'm in the process of walking around the corner. It's like when I took that picture with uh, DJ Khaled. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. DJ Teapot. Yeah. And I was, like, getting, I, was, I was trying to put my hand in my pocket, and someone snapped the photo, so it looks like I'm doing the, I'm a little teapot pose. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I get caught in these weird spots. Uh, but anyway, cool. tomorrow, uh, mines. All okay. right. Back at it. <laughs> Ravy's uh, disappointed yeah? this morning. First thing I walked in, she goes, uh, not enough blood for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, she mentioned that to me <laughs> as well. There's no spatter. Where's the blood at? Yeah, so uh, I, I was, was expecting spatter. I was uh, I was taken out on last night's episode of uh, Mayans MC. It was anticlimactic for me. Yeah, well, I mean, look. Uh, of course, what does that say that I really want to see? I was going yeah, no, to say, like, I really wanted to see Woody just mm. yeah. <laughs> just explode right in front of me. <laughs> if you want, I'll get an HD copy. I'll slow it down so you can see yeah. the blood Thank you. shooting from I my would chest. I like that. Angel. Yeah. Yeah. So um, <laughs> I got into a, uh, a shootout with uh, Edward James Almost character Felipe Reyes, the uh, the father of the, of the two main characters on the show. Okay. And uh, I got to take a couple shots at him, but then he won because he had a double barrel shotgun, which I took to the chest. And he's mm-hmm. a badass. But you yeah. can barely see it. Yeah. It was cool though, man. Like uh, <laughs> when I uh, walked up to him on the set that day, I said, "It is an honor to be murdered by you today." Oh, I <laughs> sure it is. <laughs> Edward James Almost, dude. Oh, yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah. Legend. Legend. Super cool. Legend. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah, the the whole experience was a lot of fun, and uh, I'm sad to see the show end because I really just I'm just a fan of the show. I was before I ever had an opportunity to you know be this really very small part uh, of the whole thing, but um, it's yeah. it's a great show. I love Next it. Next week is the mm-hmm. series finale. The series finale. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know. I know but, that must uh, have been the coolest. It was cool because you know we've talked about it before. We've gone down. We've seen the set. Of different shows or have been uh-huh. there for I different things. So geeked out. Yeah. And it's cool just to see because I like to see how mm-hmm. all things are put together. It and so rules. Uh, mm-hmm. Even in this scenario of you know being there and being part of the of the filming of it and everything and, and watching how it was all put together and then seeing the final uh, product and what the, you could see kind of what they mm-hmm. did. It, how they just, make it look. Yeah, yeah. it's just really interesting. It's really interesting. We went to this one set. I think it was for Blackish, the the family home in Blackish. Yeah. And I opened up the freezer knowing it's, I mean, it's a real freezer, but it's not plugged in and operating. Right. And I thought, oh, there's not going to be anything in here. And there was, there was bags of frozen veggies and whatnot, and they fill it with cotton to make it look like mm-hmm. it has like peas or corn in there. Yeah. Right. Every detail is thought of. It's, it's pretty so cool. awesome. But Greg, we went to the set of the middle and we got oh, to have- my God. We got to have lunch with them, and Best that was pretty ever. cool. Like <laughs> with all the actors, we're sitting like yeah. on the set at their actual like dinner table and having lunch with them. That was for so like an real. hour. It was the best. Besides uh, Mayans, obviously, that was a completely different experience. I think my favorite set that I've ever visited was the Goldbergs. Mm. Awesome, because that was cool. Because yeah. you walk through their house, and yeah. you know, I was a big fan of the show. And uh, then the other one, um, I got to hang out uh, on set at Silicon Valley. That Mike Judge show oh, yeah. that was on HBO for a while, right. mm-hmm. and the coolest thing about that was that I got to hang and talk to Mike Judge. 
Mm. And so like I'm, rules. I'm sitting there at the, they call it Video Village, where all the screens are set up, where the director sits. In this yeah. case, it was him. And, you know, mm-hmm. I got the, the headphones on so you can hear the dialogue that's being picked up and then watch that process. But we're sitting there and we're just chopping up like, this is the Beavis and Butthead guy. <laughs> this is the King of the Hill guy. This is Office Space guy. Yep. And I and Silicon Valley was a great show, but um, it was it was just cool talking to him. That was that was fun, mm-hmm. of course. So anyway, well uh, that's all over. Well now mm-hmm. you're dead. So yeah. yeah, well it's kill or be killed this season. I know. Yeah, well, for real. Yeah. Sorry, it wasn't severe, bloody enough, right? Severe lack of splatter. Uh, <laughs> Tax says, uh, "Did you Not get to that. use squibs? Yeah, squibs are. It's a special effect thing. That's why I thought there'd be spatter. There was a lot. That's the thing. There was so much blood, like on the set. Mm-hmm. Yeah." So much on the wall, splattered up on the wall, and, yeah. and also because I had these squibs are the the packets of uh, blood that, that are then that are yeah. then like triggered by the special effects guy mm-hmm. as the scene's going on, and so it is like it's it's a little explosion that happens, thankfully forward. But I mean, it went through the shirt, it went through the uh, the leather, you know, they call it the cut, the vest yep. that yep. Uh, my Sons of Anarchy mm-hmm. character was wearing, and. I mean, there's just blood everywhere. And it was also out my back because it was double barrel shotgun blast. Oh. There was, I was covered in this stuff. Because there was so <laughs> much of it. But right. it was crazy because they set you up. They had, you know, like three different, um, you know, three different complete same copies of my wardrobe. Right. Just in case they had to do it again. And so I had to get out of the one that I had and like, oh, we need to put you this, this one. It was like, I was a, it was like, I was like a suicide bomber. Like there's all these wires and stuff underneath mm-hmm. the shirt and the packets and a wire goes like down the leg of your pants and across the room to where the right. special effects guy is, and it's nice. all, I was so nervous I Didn't was going to screw say it you up. Couldn't move. Like, they, do your best to just sit still, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you had to sit there yeah. for a long time. Yeah, but but they, while they got everything set up, here's a wuss question: When the squibs go off, does it kind of hurt? It's like if somebody walked up to you and just smacked you right in the chest. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, right. So it's it, you know what it is. It just because you don't know. I mean, you have an idea of basically when, when that's going to happen. happen but not exactly, and so yeah. there's that... That surprise. Mm, there's that surprise, which also helps you, you know, react yeah, right. appropriately. Do you only have one chance to get that shot no. because it goes off? Oh. No, and that's the thing. Like, I wanted to get it in one shot, which I did. We did it in in, uh, in one take, but like, hey, if we have to do it again, but it's it's a pretty involved cleanup process because, like I said, there's blood yeah. everywhere. It was yeah. impressive crumpling to the ground. Right. That was impressive. <laughs> yeah. Well, because the guy who's the showrunner, the guy's name is uh, Elgin James, and uh, he's got a criminal history. He went to prison. He was mm-hmm. part of like this notorious Boston gang. I forget the name, but um, you know, talk about a guy who's turned his life around. So he's yeah, been right. around a lot of like what you see in these shows. He's been around violence, murder, you know, all this kind of stuff. And he, mm-hmm. what he said, he hated because he he had pulled me aside and he had said, "Hey, man, they had had a stunt guy for me." For this, like you know, scene getting shot, mm. and uh, it was crazy because the guy, the guy looks so much. I mean, I know that's the point, but what an unfortunate thing to look a lot like me. <laughs> but they were like styling him to look more, you know, with the 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 beard that I had going at the time and the whole mm. thing. But anyway, uh, he pulled me aside. He goes, "Yo, dude," he goes, "Why don't you just do this yourself?" I'm like, "Dude, I'll do anything you want. I'm yeah. here." Yeah. Let's go. You're like, I'm legally Tom yeah. Cruise. Let's go. Yeah, I am Tom Let's Cruise, go, dude. <laughs> like, you, you tell me what you need done. Like, I'll, he goes, all right. So here, because here, here's what I hate. He goes, you know, these guys, these, you know, Hollywood stunt dudes or whatever. He goes, they do this thing where they, you know, they get shot. They put their arms out and they kind of like wriggle and then get blown back. Oh, they you know, and it. Yeah. He goes, that's not at all what it looks like. And I go, well, what does it look like? Yeah. He goes, I just need you to fall. Yeah. Like just like a bag of bones, just fall. He goes, picture. He goes, you ever do any gardening with shears? <laughs> You're like, no. Mm-hmm. I was like, well, I've Hell seen no, it. Like I've hired yeah. people to no, do it. I have. I've done that. I <laughs> own shears. I've anyway, I'm like, observed yeah. it. Yeah, oh, yeah you know, right. like the big, like the big head shears, you know. And uh, he goes, just picture someone coming up behind you and just taking out your spine. Okay. He goes, and what would happen? That you would just like a bag Rumple of to yeah. the ground. Go, Ow! Ooh, he goes, uh, that's it. That's all wow. I need. He goes. Crumple, get down. I'm like, all right, cool. See, I detected that that was fine acting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he was pumped because, uh, you know, I've never done this before. I told him, I said, I just don't want to screw it up. I, I didn't want to be, you know, in the way or uh, I know, a pain. Possibly, or Cause uh-huh. a second take where yeah. they like, have to set it all up again. Shot yeah. by Lieutenant Castillo from Miami Vice. I'd be so oh, nervous. Dude. Oh, right? dude. I know. <laughs> right? You're like, I don't want to do yeah. good for him. Yeah. 
It was uh, cool. Oh yeah, and because that that one mm. screenshot of after like we we kicked the door down, like, <laughs> looking for one of the characters at his house, and he wasn't there, which is why we ended up at the other house. Right. And ended up mm-hmm. with the uh, uh, Edward James, almost his character, but um, the screenshot looked ridiculous Mm -hmm. but then i saw the actual scene last night i'm like that looked way better so are we gonna get an hd copy or do i need to rip it from hulu uh you probably need to rip it from hulu i mean i could go but i I mean they're done with production now there's all this Uh, drama stuff with strikes and and everything else okay yeah i'll do that but But there is some like little tiny clips on our story at the woody show right now oh right if you want to see thanks again to to elgin james who was the showrunner super cool guy Awesome. Thank you for inviting me to be a part of that. Everybody who worked on set, the crew, that was also cool to see. And like mm-hmm. those guys work They're the ones so really, hard. Yeah. yeah. The lighting people and the people, like there's a billion people running around. You would think, like, you see the credits of stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're like, what do all these people do? Right. Everybody's busy. Mm-hmm. Everybody's running and taping and hooking stuff up and moving things around. And like some people are in charge of you know, down to like the catering stuff. But I mean, like, everybody's busy. Yeah. And they're yeah. working their ass off. There's a lot of downtime for the people who are on the show. Sure. You know, the, the actors. The there's actors, a there's right. a ton of downtime for them because all these other guys. But everybody are, else is busting ass. Are setting everything up. Yeah. It, it was just a really impressive thing to see. Also, uh, Brett Dos Santos, who's uh, he's one of the producers. He directed a couple of the episodes. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, he was uh, a big part of uh, a huge part of helping me uh, be able to do that, which is cool. Very well, cool. If, Probably never do it again, you know, but uh, it was a cool experience. If Brett could get me just a better lighted scene oh. of that mm-hmm. so I could yeah. see the spatter. See, that's, that's <laughs> the other thing. That'd be dope. Because just... Raven's like, it was, everything is very dark. I'm like, well, yeah, it's the time of day it was supposed mm-hmm. to be taking place. But also, like, when you filmed it, it was not nearly that dark. They darken yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. That's you what know. I'm saying. Could I get a, a, a fresh scene that's <laughs> not darkened? In fact, I got to watch that show. And there's a couple shows I have to watch. When there's, you know, when it's, I can't watch it yeah. during the day. There's too much light in the room where the right. you know, TV is. And because I can't, I can't see, a damn see stuff. Yeah. But that's a new that's, thing. We we're talking about the yeah. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, you couldn't see it. Yeah. It's been drama there's some for scenes years. in Obi Wan that you couldn't see. Yeah. Because they're calling it true lighting. Right. Yeah. And it sucks. It does suck. It, it's easily, you can fix it easy. Yeah. It is cool, though. Um, again, one of the things, like when you, when you see how it was filmed and then you see it on the actual show, mm-hmm. like, from what is soundstage stuff to what is actual, like, mm-hmm. uh, you know. On location. On location. It's like you can't you can't tell, like, with the lighting and the way it's coming in through the windows. And it just it yeah, looks so awesome. natural and so so cool. Right. The way they do. I, there was one point they go, uh, and I, I thought this, you know, like they're like, uh, you know, they, they need a whatever. They, you can get an apple crate. Mm. They actually brought in an apple crate. You oh. know, I was like, I thought that was like a name, you know, like a cute name for like some type of thing no they brought an, oh, an actual they prop something up just right and they've used hubcaps just to reflect certain things certain ways and it's like man it's pretty cool that's so awesome pretty cool so anyway love it i gotta wait for uh uh kevin smith now because he's been mega delayed yeah. in filming that movie that he uh that he's doing because mm-hmm. that was supposed to have already filmed i was already mm-hmm. supposed to have done that so I'll have like one TV credit, one movie credit, and then and then I'm gonna retire, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> what? <sighs> no. Dude, didn't I say you put Greg, it to the ground excellently? Because Greg, it's just exhausting. It's exhausting. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised you're not hospitalized right now. Yeah. Mm. What was crazy? So like what you saw last night, Rave. Yes. That was a 13 hour day. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. For how That's many so seconds? Nuts. Oh, like if you total it all up. He's on screen for probably 30, 30 seconds. Yeah, 30 to 45 seconds. You know? B- between the kicking in the door yeah. scene. 13 hours. And then the severe lack of spatter scene. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two hours, I sat there covered in that fake blood, yep. which is mega sticky because it's like corn syrup. Yeah. There. Yeah. And they're like, well, no, don't clean up yet because uh, we're going to we're, we're gonna do like some other shot with you on the ground. I'm like, oh, okay. But I have to poop. And I, I'm sitting there. They're, they're handing out like ice cream sandwiches to everybody. I can't touch <laughs> oh, anything. Right. I'm like, ah. The churro truck showed up. Oh, like, oh my God. Ah. Girls are here. <laughs> I know, it's so funny.